the crowd, the atmosphere, the tingling on the back of your neck. For that moment you feel like you're a gladiator. For those few seconds just before kickoff, and you realise, wow, this is something very special that I'll remember for the, the rest of my life. So try and give me an idea of the atmosphere in here and what goes on in here before a grand final. Very focused. I think to, I think to start with, um, you come in and the kit men do a terrific job of, of making it look good, making it feel special. So each person has his shirt up, um, a big photograph, a play, an action photo, um, and everything's ready for you, everything. Your programme's there, your shorts, your socks. You're ready to go, it's a year's work. I tend to keep you waiting in the tunnel. Seems like you're in there uh, an eternity and you just want to get out. It's dark, but it's just flashes of light coming from everywhere. And you can see the trophy, fireworks start. Just an awesome feeling. So this will be the first time you've been on this turf since you last won the grand final as a player. Yeah, it is, yeah. Do you know what's great to be back? It is my favourite ground. Um, I love playing at Headingley, but because of the, the memories we've got here, the trophies we've won here, I suppose my first taste of, of Grand Final and Old Trafford was, was going right back to 98, the first one here. So it was Leeds and Wigan, and, and I was playing in the academy at the time at Leeds, and we just won our academy Grand Final the week before. Because of that, we were invited to come and do a lap of honour at, at half time. That was my first experience you know, in, in the suit. What other moments stick in your mind? There'd be three. Um, standing here now, that, that really come to mind. The first one would be uh, when we beat um, St Helens and I kicked a goal late on. Mm. A penalty goal from about 45 metres. And, uh, uh, I can remember at the time thinking, um, I'll have a shot at goal, we've won the game, it'll just kill a minute or two. Mm. Thankfully it went over, so I remember that one. Yeah. 2012 grand final against Warrington when we got knocked out. Michael Monaghan's head in the chin and it was a good night for a, for a little while. And, you went um, on to, to win it and get man of the match. Yeah, it's... Uh, and you probably yeah, shouldn't I, have I got back on the pitch. No, no, I can't remember anything after that from the game. And my wife would probably tell you it did me some good, but um, <laughs> that one was particularly special, given that one to me. It gives a real good hiding at Wembley. And then my favourite one, the last one, from the 2015 Grand Final. 16 to up at half time, my best ever lead and the dressing room was, was pumped. It was as it was as good a dressing room as I'd seen at half time for a grand final. And we were going for the treble and it did cross my mind, is this one going too far? Emotionally I was spent. And thankfully we found a way to win, which um, was incredible. And to get up at the end and win by two points, you know, when that hooter sounds and um, it's that moment where you turn around and look for the nearest blue shirt. Just a special moment. To look back and think of, of that boy who was playing on that hill up at Waterhead and running around in that mud and to suddenly find yourself here on an October night is uh, it's an incredible transformation. You wake up and you pinch yourself and think, wow, I, I get to do something pretty special today and it's been brilliant.